Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we will be going over the easiest Platinums and Trophies on my PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 3 account. We're going to see, well, first off, this is the list, and we're going to do 5 PS3 games and 5 PS4 games. Of course, we're going to go through the PS3 games first, as, well, clearly... PS3 is older, so a lot of the games, etc., etc., you know, are cheap and available to you. So the first game that we're actually going to go over, The Walking Dead Survival Instinct. Now, I know what you're thinking, this game, to some or many, is very difficult, but when you play it, it's not too, too bad. It takes a little bit to learn, but with the right guide and the right, you know, motivation to do it you can easily do it the only trophy that will screw you up is probably gathering every survivor so every man woman and child i am the only one that actually put out a guide for that and i tell you how to do it basically you just quit to the xmb if the survivor doesn't spawn in the area and then you go from there it's not too difficult and not too monotonous in in itself this one will take roughly one week and three days is the time that I did it, but it's a three out of 10 and can take about 15 hours with a right guide, like I said. So that would be every collectible guide, every survivor guide, etc., etc. Moving on to Far Cry 3. Far Cry 3, again, is an old PS3 game that was brought on to PS4. I chose to do it on PS3 primarily because that's where it started. And it's a very fun game that you can still buy on the PS3 if you wanted to do it on the PS3. Or you can just do it on the PS4. They're both the same minus the co-op, I believe. So the co-op on the PS4 version doesn't exist. The PS3 version, you might need to gather a few friends. But other than that, it's not too difficult. You can also just do split screen is what I did. They do take a lot of damage as well. So just invite a friend over and be like, hey, can you help me do this or whatever? Um, for Far Cry 3, it took me approximately one day and 23 hours. Most people, it will take 25 hours, and it's about a 4 out of 10. Again, not too difficult in terms of gameplay. Like I said, this is a list on easy, easy PS3 games. Lone Survivor. Now, this is a very obscure and oblique game. I say that because I believe it was free for PlayStation Plus a long time ago, and... This game is so easy with a guide. Without it, you will be lost. That's not a joke. It took me about two days and one hour, and it will take regularly with a guide 12 hours with the right guide. There's a written guide, and there's also a visual guide. For me, I need visual, so the visual will take a bit longer, but the same product will be the same. The product will be the same. The next one after that that we are going to cover is Deadpool. Deadpool is, again, a very obscure game. It kind of came out and was, you know, not a lot of people played it. This game took me roughly two days and 16 hours. Again, there was really no allotted time. This game is very, very easy, and you can farm uh, all the upgrades in the beginning. Also, the game isn't too difficult, like I said. So just keep playing at that. There's some collectibles. There's some upgrade. There's a certain number of kills you need. The usual kind of stuff. And with a guide, like I said, it's, it's very easy. It should take you no more than 25 to 30 hours. Lastly on the list that we are going to cover is Murdered Soul Suspect. So this is the PS4 version, but it also works on the PS3 version. The PS4 version and the PS3 version are the same. Obviously, load times differ, but on the PS3, I actually did it faster, and it took me 6 hours and 47 minutes with a guide, as usual, all collectibles, etc. Because realistically, you just need to collect every single collectible in the game, and that's that's really it, and do all the side missions, and you should be fine. That's, that's it. This took, well, regular players, 7 hours, so... If you can get it right under that, you can obviously do this game in like five hours if you wanted. You know, if you just found an all-in-one guide. But that's that. Now we're going to move on to the next couple games here. This is all for the PS4. And I'm going to bring up Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishment because we just passed it. 
This game, this game is peculiar. The reason why I say this is because you need to do certain things in the game. So, for example, do all the puzzles without skipping it. Uh, interact with Toby in every case or the dog. Uh, reach six correct conclusions for all six cases. This is the trophy that screwed me up because I didn't do one small thing. So it's a very, very like exact game that you need to make sure that you have every single little detail, like little minute detail down pat. So just follow very, very successful guides. And again, this game will be easy. A lot of these games, if you just use guides it's simple as that honestly for most games at least First, middle earth shadows of mordor this is a very fun lord of the rings game and it's more of like it's also like a strategy game and it's all these things and i remember when i first played it it was a very fun game very new it reminds me a lot of the batman arkham knight games because it's made by the same publisher i believe not too difficult in terms of that. Also, the Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishment. My my apologies. One week and one day, and then 15 hours for that game. For Shadows of Mordor, it's roughly... It took me two days and six hours. Roughly is a 3 out of 10, 25 hours for the average person. So again, not a hard game. The hardest one is probably to free a certain number of prisoners on the back of one of the uh, mounts, the orc mounts, that is basically all RNG, and you have to do it in under three minutes, five minutes, something like that. It's That one will take you a few tries, but other than that, this game is pretty easy. You know, you can command your own orc army and do all these things. It's, 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 it's an easy game. I keep saying that. Is Until Dawn. Until Dawn is now I did I didn't want to include Telltale games and Lego games and 99 cent games in this list because obviously then the list would be not really unique and it would be pain in the ass to kind of you know it would be like well they're just Lego games so I played those games and I don't want those on my trophy list it's fine so for Until Dawn this game again is just a story driven game. Um, you do need to find a right collect guide, like a 100% perfect guide. The reason I say this is because all of the trophies are associated with um, everyone either making it out alive or no one making it out alive. So all eight friends survive until dawn, nobody survived until dawn. And then there's uh, specific, you know, specific trophies for certain situations which you can replay and back to but be aware when you replay and go back to those you have to play the rest of the game that's what i found out at least so be very careful when you do that but essentially follow guide if you miss something like if you misdo a puzzle i know i did one and one of the characters died if you miss do like misuse a puzzle don't fret about it just quit the main screen reopen it it's fine. Now I'm going to combine two of them. I'm going to combine Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered and I'm going to combine uh, Modern 2 Remastered. Also apologies. Until Dawn took me about two days and four Average version is 15 hours. Now with the reason why I'm combining these two is because they're very easy games. I actually put out a guide on my channel. I'll put that down in the description as well as the guides that I used for each of these games. You know, go through. Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered if you start the game on veteran, do this in, like, I've seen somebody do it in six hours because they're really good at the game. There's even that, it's even on YouTube. But my time for it was one day in two hours, you know, like, I'd say the hard thing to do in all of this would definitely probably be the, an FN, get the IW best time. That's just practice and you'll get it maybe. It'll take 30 minutes to do. That's the hardest trophy. Besides the fact that a veteran will kick you in the ass, but you don't run out in the open like an idiot, you're fine. Also, getting a kill every single weapon, just make sure that you have like a written guide next to you on that as well as the collectibles. And oh, you picked up the handgun, shoot it, boom, dead. Okay, move on to whatever or kills. Um, as for Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, that one 15 hours, 16 minutes. The average for both of these is 25 hours. And again, we're just going to, you know, scroll up to Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. Again, it's not hard. There's a trophy in this game to 
beat the entire campaign with something, load up Root. If you die, just restart the mission. You skip the stupid, or sorry, the amazing airport uh, level. Again, just don't be an idiot. Don't run out. It's simple as that and it's a really they're both really easy games even on veteran they might seem a little bit difficult but as you play them you'll you'll be fine infamous first light this game is basically just infamous and is super super simple super easy. you don't even need to play on the hardest difficulty i did for whatever reason so i did it in 18 hours and 33 minutes average for this is 10 hours you can just mow through the game. You can skip the cutscenes if you want. You can do whatever it is, you know, you really want. But the only thing that will take a little bit of time is Perfectionist. So a Perfectionist is literally uh, complete all the challenges in the game. And then achieving a rescue score and stuff like that. Like all the scores and top of the class. And million points. Stuff like that you'll easily be able to get. It's not difficult. It's just practice with the game. You know, you can just go through there. But that has been the list. Um, tell me down below if you want a part two video. I'll try to make it a little bit better. Um, but I'm going to try to make more trophy related videos. I'm actually filming this video with a concussion and everything else that's happened in my life. My life has sucked this year, but whose hasn't? But basically, with all these games, you have to remember it's my personal. Uh, time that I've done this, my personal things, or sorry, like my personal uh, experience with each of these. So just take it with a grain of salt. In my opinion, these games are all very easy. They're challenging, but not too challenging. It's like you could turn your brain off and just do this mindlessly, put Netflix on in the background, and then follow a video guide and all that. But other than that, the that's been the video, somebody. guys. Do me a favor. Tell me down below what's your easiest PS3 or PS4 Platinum. You guys excited for the PS5? Tell me down, that down below, too. That's it, guys. As always, have a great day, and peace out.